got some riveting news for everybody. Oh yeah, today, because Hootie says the Tennessee Hootie cops who? are moving like the deep state, and they are out Ooh. to get him. See, it's not just Trump. I guess black men. Yep, I guess the black men in the South finally got a reason to listen to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grammy, <laughs> Grammy Award winning rock and country <laughs> music star Darius Rucker stopped by NBC's The Today Show and broke his silence on getting arrested in Tennessee this February for allegedly riding dirty last February. <laughs> According to Hollywood reporter Zoe Phillips, the former Hootie and Blowfish frontman says his February drug offense shocked him and that he thinks the ordeal was a result of someone trying to make an example out of him. Mm -hmm. Driving while black in Tennessee. Yep, he's one of us. Welcome home, Hootie. I'm handling it with my lawyers and paying the price, and we will move on with our lives, Rucker told People magazine. In early uh, February, Rucker was arrested in Tennessee on two counts of simple possession, casual exchange of a controlled substance, and one count of a violation of the state's vehicle registration law. He said, uh, the singer said this week that the arrest warrant shocked him and added the charges were in relation to a 2023 incident during which he was pulled over and released without charges. It was awesome, Rucker said. I mean, I look back at that and I was like, I got stopped by the police officer and had a little bit of pot and I think a little bit of some mushrooms in the car you know that I'm not and he let me go. The end of the show, right? <laughs> and one year later, I just saw an arrest warrant Perfect. and it shocked me. <laughs> That'll be so fun story. <laughs> you think? <laughs> TMZ also reported that he had expired tags on his car and uh, Rucker continued um, uh, Come to on. say, my friends expired who were tags. in the police department you're right. <laughs> My friends who were in the police department were like, you, have you pissed somebody off up here? Because this is crazy that we're doing this a year later. But I think somebody wanted to make an example out of me. And they did. Rucker's attorney said after the singer's arrest that he was fully cooperating with the authorities related to a misdemeanor charges. And um, last October, he released his first solo album in six years. And his memoir is uh, what he is peddling right now and why he was on the Today Show. So um, the thing I got to say about this, man, like, yes, it is strange as hell. I think we got Dale on today. I'd like to learn about this. Like, how are you going to um, pull somebody over? You, they got weed on him. They took his joint. They took, I, I guess he had some psilocybin pe uh, pills on him, too. They took all that. And then they arrest him a year later after letting him go. Like, how is that even a thing? Um, only thing I can think of, man, I'm trying not to make this racist, but... No, <laughs> I, I know what it is. I know what it is, Rico. <laughs> you, in you in Tennessee, and uh, the statute of limitations uh, on everything is, is um, does not exist. I know what it is. I don't know. I don't know, man. I know um, exactly what it I'm is. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to open up the discussion. I'm Rico Lamit, the dopest dad on the street from uh, uh, for mm -hmm. Hide 9 News, and uh, this is the reason why I got the fuck out of Virginia, because of shit like this. Can I, can, I, can I tell you what happened, Rico? Tell me, white man. I can tell you. I can tell you right now what happened. Okay. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now what, yeah. what, why this is happening is because all of a sudden they got one of those George Soros DAs out of office, oh, and now they have God. a real prosecutor in place that's prosecuting crime. That's what happened. Come on, Jason. So, uh, so, you're so you're suggesting, Jason, that he's going back and prosecuting every case where they might have had evidence of a drug arrest. I, I, I will say this, though, in, 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 in all seriousness, in, in all seriousness, I do find it a little ironic that he's c complaining, saying, oh, they were targeting me when he's driving around with with expired tags. I mean, what do you expect yeah. when you ride around with expired tags? You generally get pulled over. That's generally well, he's what really, happens. Jay, yeah, what he's really right, complaining right, about is fired bag through the deep south is crazy. Yeah, what he's really complaining about is that he didn't get his celebrity star power used and get off on the charges. I, That's really I, what I agree. I, is really complaining about. I, I, I totally agree with that. He's totally trying to gaslight people, being like, oh, they shouldn't have pulled me over in the first place. Like, you're riding around right. with expired tags. What do you expect? Well, this is no, no, hold on, hold on, Jason. You, no, he's, that's not what he's doing at all. He's, he's saying, oh, no, he's, he's saying not, he's not riding later, around with expiring tags. No, he said he said in the interview he thought it was awesome that he got off. He had no idea how right. he got off. And then yeah. one year later, 
They're like, nah, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm I'm willing to bet probably probably what happened is they probably yeah, they probably didn't say that he did not do anything wrong, like at all. I don't think he, he got left he, off. He, I don't. He's as shocked as I am that it happened a year later. He gets arrested a year later for something he was. Not, I don't. I don't think he, he got let off. Like I don't think he got let off. Oftentimes, oftentimes, and this this has happened to me before, and I know this is a, a thing that law enforcement and district attorneys often often use is oftentimes they will arrest someone for a certain charge and they may bring them in and have them serve 72 hours but they won't prosecute them on that charge but the da hold on hold on hold on the da has the ability to bring up charges um later on and so it's very possible that they decided to file on him at a later date and then all of a sudden he had a warrant out for his arrest and that's what they actually picked him up on from this old case no i don't think anyone's denying that that's loud yes I feel like the lawyer should absolutely help in this situation. Perhaps Dale should speak. Yeah, please, Dale. Well, first of all, my maxim is don't break more than one law at a time, you dumbass. Yeah, that. this guy has already did that, Dale. There's a starting point. Hey, now, I can tell you there's a long statute of limitations. They rolled in on me in 2001. I wasn't arrested till 2005. Mm -hmm. They can sit on this shit and decide whether are you worth this or not. Because inside the DA's office, they have absolute discretion to do nothing, to bring maximum charges, mm -hmm. lesser charges. And I would say that underneath the undercurrent here is that someone's trying to send a message um, of their law and order provenance to go after someone with a name recognition. And I hope it blows up in their face. The only concern here is that I don't think psilocybin's got quite the reputation in Tennessee that it might have in Oakland or San Francisco or Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. or they might consider that a serious problem. So, yes, he was he was Listen, pulled over I'm in Tennessee. Again, I mean, I think the park house, don't do it. He was pulled over in Tennessee or Virginia. Tennessee, Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. All right. But see, I think so listen, I'm gonna break let me break down the scenario for you guys. This is what happened. The police saw him, they thought he was over. They realized it was Darius Rucker and they let him go. A little while later, it went around the office that, hey, we pulled over Darius Rucker and we let him go. And then it got to a higher up that said, what? You did what to who? And then they went back and arrested him. Mm. Period. And and it was covered in tabloids and on news shows and stuff like right. that. So And right you know, here at High and I'm sure back Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I think you got you got one you got one thing kinda right. We're talking about the the quote unquote deep state, right? Some deep government conspiracy to target a specific group of people. Isn't that what the war on drugs is? So he finally right, yeah. finally learned that. One. Mm, I don't know about yeah. all that, but okay. Yeah, you got one less blow. You got one less. I think that's a little you know, stretchy. High on on substances, uh, a, a, a black superstar in, in country music riding around on these streets. The world's a safer place. He was riding around and one getting year it. Later. Right. One year later, they, they let him drive home. They let him keep. They let him do all this shit. They didn't even. They didn't even like have no arrests like that evening. But uh, apparently, it was in some kind of report, and uh, his he pissed off his ex girlfriend, and she snitched to the cops to them, and she might be dating uh, one of them now. And uh, all of a sudden, he gets arrested one year later. Mm -hmm. mm. Not that complicated. Inside law enforcement are tied ass. Drug hating motherfuckers. And if they get a chance to get you, they will. And it always has a battle against uh, the other forces inside law enforcement. Think this is nonsense. Let's not do it. And I mean, today we still see. I mean, the DEA is fighting inside law enforcement to push back against making pot less, you know, stringently controlled. Yeah. And inside these local places, Barney Fife is real. Barney Fife. I haven't heard that name in so long, Dale. There. Oh, shout They're out real. to Barney Fife. Prosecutors. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Barney Fife. We don't shout out to no law Shout out to Barney program, Fife, bro. bro. Barney Fife is a funny dude, bro. I don't know. Jason's been hanging out with Yaro too much. Man, this shit getting crazy, man. crazy over, over You guys here. are so... Man, you guys we're going to have so to draw crazy. lines in the sand on this show. Oh, yeah. We're drawing lines <laughs> in the sand today. That's right. I mean, this guy should have been staying at the beach drawing lines in the sand. He wouldn't have been getting pulled over. Speaking of the beach, I actually was at the beach, and I'll tell you about it later. Look at that. We can tell. Yeah, you know, we got some color, bro. Anybody. Yeah. Pay your registration. Pay That's your right. registration. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Rule number one. Sorry, but I can't really feel very 
sympathetic for somebody who's a superstar didn't even bother to pay his fucking car registration mm -hmm. what the hell yeah. Darius exactly Walker? come on you know you know he can afford it what the fuck's okay, wrong about you man wrong thing. how about getting a driver hold on, hold on. we need one person speaking at a time you guys drivers they only make like 50 grand a year and they got a driver like come on darius mm -hmm. shit mm -hmm. hey why would you be driving dirty alone in tennessee and expecting right. nothing gonna happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you a black man yeah. in the south, black, black man in Tennessee, high, high riding. <laughs> You're trying to get pulled over. <laughs> Benny, mad they didn't, didn't let him off. Yeah. What, what the fuck are you doing going back? You got off? Mm -hmm. Never go back. Yep. <laughs> they go get you. Exactly. Never speak of it again.